So real quickly here, I'd like to point out um, a difference in the SMA styles. Uh, this SMA has been adapted to BNC with that style of plug. And this is an SMA male. And so it uh, quickly adapts. This is a two meter radio. And one nice thing about the quick adapting of the BNC is I can have a two meter antenna on my Jeep that just runs in with a cable and a fairly flexible cable. Let's be clear on that. And then I can just take this off, click it on, and away we go. I also have a Aubrey, a longer um, wavelength antenna that can be quickly detached this exact same way. And those two things give this radio more versatility. And then also this antenna, while not great, is a little better than the factory antenna. Um, on this GMRS handheld, the uh, BNC adapter is more inside the um, antenna itself. And then this is an SMA female. And that makes it significantly more uh, delicate than the SMA male attachment to the handhelds. So that may be something that you have to give some consideration to if you want to take um, and risk, I would say, uh, more likelihood of breaking your connector. Uh, in this case, I really need what that antenna will bring. And I hope in the future to make a um, addition to the adapter that makes the whole connection a little more solid. And when I do that, I certainly will show it to you. Um, the idea will be that this space in here will have something that's almost like a washer that will um, actually have the thread, the right thread size to fit the um, SMA connector that's built into the radio and will also go up high enough that it supports the lower end of the adapter. So uh, I think that these are worthwhile changes. I really wish these radios came with uh, a different the, the kind of adapters that I'm putting on there, I wish they came that way from the factory. Uh, all across the radio um, world, manufacturers would do themselves and us a great service if they would consider the um, way antennas are connected uh, with more thoughtfulness. The um, ICOM 7100, which I adore, has two um, antenna ports. One is for six meters and lower down to 160 and the other antenna port the, it's all they're all they're SO 259 to 39 PL 239 SO 239 I, no one can remember that system but if that VHF UHF antenna port that is the second one had a BNC TNC connector like this then you would never make a mistake and put a simple whip two meter and then uh, by accident try and drive 100 watts at 160 meters um, those kind of things can damage a radio they they will and uh, it's uh, you know, we're humans and we make mistakes. And the manufacturers are humans and they make mistakes too, but theirs could be corrected. And they would be doing um, themselves and us a favor and uh, people would wax eloquently over this wonderful thoughtfulness and feature that that particular manufacturer provided. So uh, in the meantime, We'll do it ourselves because that's what we do. Uh, this is Whiskey Sierra 7, Papa Bravo saying happy trails.